hey guys and uh, welcome back to pixel cherry ninja's channel now street fighter 6 uh epic fighting game in a long going series now i uh, i'm always skeptical about new fighting games call me an old dinosaur if you like I, I i like my super turbo i like my first strike i kind of like street fighter 4 but the first version of it once the update started coming i stopped playing it and i kind of stuck to the old games street fighter 5 i did try it when it came out i try every street fighter game when it comes out I, I wasn't a fan of it now i know there's a lot of people that like it they consider it a good game i just didn't like it street fighter 6 however on the other hand i really really did enjoy it so in this video what we're going to have a look at we're going to have a look at the best settings to get this game running at 60 fps uh while actually having decent ish looking visuals that you're seeing now you can see the the frame count in the top left uh, it may dip like during the menus and things like that but during the actual game it will not dip and the other thing that i want to show here is modern controls now I play on an arcade stick. That's how I play my Street Fighter games. I always try and play them on a joypad on the go. And I've never been able to play it to the level that I can on an arcade stick. I feel that can change with modern controls. I've only just started playing with them. I kind of have to like reprogram myself after playing years and years of Street Fighter. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to use certain characters with modern controls. And when I'm playing in front of my PC with my arcade stick, then I stick to different characters. But guys, this is a fantastic game. And we're going to have a look at the settings that are best for playing online now the online on this is fantastic even though i'm playing with wi-fi on a steam deck i've played a few friends of mine i've played a few randoms and honestly like i can't i can't reiterate how good the netcode is the best online uh, gaming experience or fighting game experience i had on a handheld was mortal kombat is it 11 or 12 i think it's mortal kombat 11 the mortal kombat that came out for the nintendo switch the graphics weren't great but the netcode was good and the moves were quite easy to do on uh, on a on a controller instead of an arcade stick so i did enjoy some of that now with this I, I i went on i tried playing with classic controls but i can't deal with four face buttons two shoulder buttons missing I, i'm not the biggest fan of the steam decks d-pad it's okay but it's not great so there are a lot of covets in the way so i thought let me give it a shot i'm gonna go modern controls and i'm gonna try it. and i think you guys should too so before we have a look at the modern controls and some online games let's just have a look at the settings and the settings that i recommend that you guys use so these settings are for playing like arcade mode or playing online it works on that i haven't really tried in world tour mode even though i imagine world tour will be fun on the steam deck so let's look at the graphical settings head over to the graphic settings inside the options menu first of all go over to uh, the quality and just set it to lowest that's going to be our starting point then the resolution should be 1280 by 720 uh, leave it at that so lowest 1280 by 720 now internal resolution that defaults at three put it up to five and maximum frame rate change that to 60 the reason we want to change the internal resolution everything will look a little bit faded a little bit washed out once you put that up to five everything will look sharp i'm not sure how good my camera captured the gameplay but when i'm looking at it, it looks really really nice even on the lowest because you're playing on an eight inch screen it looks fantastic and that is all you need this will give you 60 fps when you're playing online all day long with no dips whatsoever okay so here we are online i've picked cami i've gone for modern controls now pardon the gameplay here we're not watching this for the gameplay but this runs at 60 fps and i think this is a good way to play, to play the game i'm still not used to modern controls there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve there but it does make the execution of doing tricky stuff uh, somewhat easier now there's not all advantages to modern controls you do 20 percent less damage or less damage from what i understand but it just makes it accessible on the steam deck if you're like me and you like handheld gaming you're not always at, at, at a place where you can set up an arcade stick and play like this is just cool like yesterday I was uh, putting my boys to bed and I was just sitting there in the bedroom, chilling out on a chair, playing this on my Steam Deck. Something that I wouldn't be able to do normally because I would require an arcade stick. And a different multiplayer match with one of the new characters and, and guys like, honestly, don't be a dinosaur. If, you, if, if you're like me and you're like, no, you have to play on an arcade stick. I don't even want to play on a controller. Street Fighter is about arcade sticks. I get it. But if you're a handheld game and you have a Steam Deck and you want to play on the go and you want to be competitive, then I honestly think it's worth uh, playing modern controls i'm not giving you a great example of good gameplay here but i honestly like i played it and i think i can learn it but look at it it's running at 60 fps there's no dips it is a premium fighting game experience in the palm of your hand 
And a good example for gameplay on the Steam Deck would be the World Tour mode. You can just update your character and do whatever on the go. I haven't actually started this because, like I said, I am a bit of a dinosaur. And I, I've i just got into the multiplayer. I've got into online and that's where I'm mainly playing my stuff. In between kind of shooting videos and finding time. But World Tour mode is a good option to play on a handheld. Now, the settings I've shown you here, you may need to change them to get the best results out of World Tour setting. The settings that I've shown you, I'm only using them online and like in training mode and they work. They don't dip below 60. But World Tour mode is something I think will be fun on a handheld. Okay, guys, so in conclusion, yes, the Steam Deck can play Street Fighter 6 really, really well. If you want to play it online, the netcode is good enough to play it on Wi-Fi. Now, I know a lot of people are against Wi-Fi. They hate playing fighters on Wi-Fi. And generally, if I can play on a wide connection, I always play on a wide connection, like when I'm in front of my main gaming room. However, the Steam Deck is a handheld, and it's nice to be it's nice to be able to play this game in the palm of your hand. If you're, having, if you're good with your execution on the Steam Deck, yeah, stick to classic controls. But if, like myself, you're like i can't do i can't do i can't play uh fighting games like i can on a stick on uh, a d-pad or on a handheld like the steam deck then definitely don't don't sleep on modern controls it definitely it works it makes the game fun there's definitely a learning curve to it some of you might learn quicker than i do for me I, it's, it is weird but i am kind of getting the hang of it and the more i play obviously the better i will get so that's really it guys let me know your thoughts below what you think um is there any way to kind of improve the settings at least the settings are working for me where i've got the counter up you can see it's just kind of locked at 60 it might go to 61 at times but it's a fluid gaming experience street fighter 6 is excellent i really think capcom have hit the ball out of the park with this one it's it's fantastic fantastic and it is just you know where we are with tech now i know i'm going to go on but it's just amazing to see that i can play this while lying down in bed i could play it on the toilet if i wanted i can play this game like take it out with me and have street fighter on the go uh, anyway guys if you like this kind of content uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, i'll see you guys in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out